I'm the Hell Dragon. Let's continue playing Kid Dracula. And every game you needs a pirate ship. That's like a rule now. Uh, what's weird though is that even though this is a pirate ship level, there's like no pirate enemies to speak of. I don't know why. I mean, you have a whole wealth of opportunity right here. You got a pirate ship, and not only that, it's a ghost pirate ship. So you can have ghost pirates or skeletal pirates or anything pirate related, but you don't really have that here. You got these jerks that fly down on you with their scythes, and the only way to really hit them with, is with the bat attack, unless you want to try using the homing attack you got last time to uh, take them out, but the homing attack's really, really weak, so you don't really want to use it that much, at least I think so. Anyway, they're the witches. I guess they're witches. I, I only call them witches because of the hat. I really don't know what they're supposed to be. The witches are here. They're skeletons. There's ghosts with swords and shields. I don't know what's up. See that guy right there? That's one of the ghosts, but beyond that, there's like no pirate enemies whatsoever. I don't understand that. Anyway, this jerk right here is a skeleton that has to die. And I think you can guess what you need to do here, if you got any gaming knowledge whatsoever. Don't touch the spikes! Durr! Well, that's pretty easy. But this is a level where you're really going to need to use your uh, upside down spell. Because, see right here, uh, you need to walk upside down so you don't touch the spikes and you don't die. Well, you probably won't die, you just take a bit of damage. You know it's weird? Uh, they have in games nowadays, you know, where there's spikes, I mean, yeah, okay. From a logical point of view, yes, if you dropped into spikes, you'd probably die. I mean, you fell into them all the way. Okay. That's why, even though it's frustrating in games like Mega Man, it makes sense, you know? You hit spikes, bam, you're probably dead. But, you know, in games these days, like, when I was playing God of War 2, hey, fuck you, Barrel. When I was playing God of War 2, there was this part where you had to open this door while spikes were coming up out of the ground. Now in God of War 1, if you touch spikes like this, you would probably die instantly. But in the second game, you touch spike, you, you get hit by the spikes and you only take a little bit of damage. I don't understand that. I, I know it's to make it easier, but at what point can you suspend? I guess you need suspension of disbelief a lot in order to uh, play games like that. Anyway, back to the game. You get these jerks, you want to use your charge fireball, and to get up here, you're going to need your bat attack or your upside down spell. Just go with the upside down spell. You're probably going to be using it the most here. And anyone who's familiar with Castlevania will know these floors where you jump on them and they flip over and they drop you down. They can be annoying, especially uh, when you're over spikes, but here it's not so bad. Anyway, moving on. All right. Uh, there's this guy up ahead. I think I'll hit him with a charge fireball. I got him that time. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, that's a heart container. I want that now. I'm gonna go get it. Well, turn on my upside down spell accidentally. I don't really know how to turn that off. I don't... I usually just wait it out. There's probably something I can do to turn it off, but I don't know. Oh, oh, get out of my way! Oh, oh, like a dumbass, I go up into the spike. See, that's what I was talking about. Alright, let's try this again. Would you back off? Hey, stop hitting me. Alright. Well, fortunately, when you get a hard container, your health refills anyway, so... What the heck? Okay. Now that we got that, let's keep on moving. I'm serious, this level needs more pirates. Well, I'm not really much of a pirate fan, I gotta admit. I'm more of a ninja guy. But only ninjas that are actually ninjas, not ninjas that pretend to be ninjas. I'm looking at you, Naruto. I know what a ninja's like. I've been there, okay? I've walked that road. Now, one more jerk separates us from victory. And he needs to make himself vulnerable so I can kill him. Thank you. Anyway. Moving on. What's next? Ah, this room. Okay. This boss fight. It's probably the closest you're gonna get to fighting, like, death in Castlevania. It's a bigger version of that enemy you fought earlier. He just thro runs around, floats around, runs, runs in air. You can run in air. I've done it. Uh, he floats around and he throws a scythe at you and an arc, so all you gotta do is jump over it. It's still easy to get tagged, though. And you just hit him with the bat attack. You know, once you get the rhythm down, he's really not that hard, as you can tell right there. I totally just kicked his ass because I'm bad like that. What was that? What's going on? Oh, oh no. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. A robot? What's a robot doing here? This doesn't even make any sense. 
Ugh. The only way you can kill this guy is if you hit his head, so you gotta use the upside down spell. Problem is, the robot wants you dead too. So he's got an extendo arm attack, and he also fires eye lasers from his head. Well, he's about to suffer in a minute, because then, when Kid Dracula gets done with him, there ain't gonna be nothing left of him but scrap. But if he stops sticking his arm in my face, die! I don't think you can do charged fireballs while you're upside down. I don't really know. I didn't want to test it, because, hey, this was a boss fight. Come on. But if you hit him with enough normal fireballs, he'll go down like everyone else to oppose me. Yeah, that's what you think. That's what you get. I finally remember our new ability, the bomb. The bomb's gonna play a major part later, but we still ain't gonna use it. Uh, the bomb's okay in damage, I think. I, I haven't really tested it out. Anyway, what's this? It's a... It's bad enough that you send another bat after me, but a bat that looks like a TV? That's just weird. I don't dabble in electronics, okay, but I'm pretty sure that having a face on your TV would be a disturbing experience. I mean, try watching TV on that thing. Come on. Oh, hey, it's Death. What do you want? I'm doing fine all by myself. I don't need your help, okay? I'm Kid Dracula. I don't know who the hell you think you are. Kid Dracula's the man. The kid. I don't know. Alright, what do you want? Seriously, what do you want? An umbrella? Umbrella! Oh, man. I've had shades of deceased crab here. Is that a good sign? Let's see. Anyway, uh, yeah, you get an umbrella. Woo! Well, you can't hit people with it. Mm, good, because you got a fireball. I don't see why you need to hit people with umbrellas when you can just burn them to death. Anyway, the umbrella has its uses, definitely. Pretty much it acts as a shield. It can bounce off any projectiles that come at your way. Either from the front, the side, or uh, above you. And there's like this one section later on where you're definitely going to need to use it above you. And it really comes into play in the last part of the game. You'll see. Alright, alright. Yeah, it's an important umbrella. I got it. Okay, Dev, stop bugging me. I know what to do. I know how to take care of it. I've taken care of everything of Dad's stuff. Stop bugging me. I know what to do. God, Dev, why do you keep harping on me? Would you stop it? Thank you. Finally, you got the message. Wait, who's this? It's a Triceratops! How dare you exit the prehistoric age! Dinosaurs don't exist anymore! Get out of my reality. If I just pretend you don't exist, you probably won't. But yeah, this is Garamal. He's, well, kind of a dick. I think you could have figured that out, to be honest. And this is the guy you gotta kill, and he's a Triceratops. Ah, oh, I'm a dinosaur, ooh. And the TV's freaking out for some reason. See, this is why I don't have TVs with faces on them, because then they do that. Especially bat TVs. Whatever. Alright, another minigame. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna cut these out in the future, I don't know. I really don't want to edit the video more than I need to do. I pretty much record the footage ahead of time, comment over it, splice it together, and I'm pretty much done. I really don't want to edit it more than I need to, I don't know. We'll see. I'll try to think of something interesting to talk about, okay? But I'm pretty sure that you all love to see me catch bats because they all deserve it because they are all evil. I swear. Let's see how many lives I can get by harvesting their souls today. Man, that's fun. Uh, sometimes you just gotta be malicious, you know? There's... You know, it's fun sometimes just to take things out on a lesser being that can't fight back. Ugh! Man, now I must know how a political leader feels. Ugh, it feels good. Anyway, bats, bats, bats. Getting your souls for me. Ooh, I got 17. Sweet. And I got 7-Up. I don't know. I, ha I haven't actually had 7-Up in forever. Hmm. I'll have to try it again. Anyway, guess what the next level is? It's in space. Don't ask. Anyway, I'm the Hell Dragon. Join me next time on Let's Play Kid Dracula. See you later.